Hello everyone, happy Friday. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina and I am a fashion reseller on the Poshmark app. You can find me on Instagram at little.black.hanger. You can also find me on Poshmark at little.blackhanger without the vowels. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to find stock photos for items that you have thrifted. So, there's several ways to do this, um, and I'm gonna walk you through each way. But the easiest way is to just simply look on the care tag. Now, on the care tag, obviously it's gonna tell you um, what the item is made of and how to take care of it. It's a care tag. <laughs> But also there are some numbers. There's an RN number, there's a CA number. You don't need those. What you will need is a style number. So a lot of times on um, the care tag, there will be a style number and it'll look like this. This is an example from a sweater that I have in my closet. It's by Sanchin and Babby. And you can see right there, it says style. And then it, it has like, you know, style, model, and that's the style number. So right underneath it is the style number. So I would type in Sanchin Babby um, cold shoulder sweater. Now I want to use those keywords because that will help it to narrow down. And then I'll type in the style number. Now you could just type in Sanchin and Babby and then type in that number. I would definitely include the word sweater because that, like I said, is going to narrow it down. But we'll get to those keywords a little bit later in the video. Um, but just by typing in that number, I was able to find this stock photo for that sweater. So it's just that easy. Now, on some care tags, it will have a style number, but it's not going to say style. It'll just have the number. So like with this um, A New Day sweater from Target, it just has that little number that starts with a VN and it's a long number. That's the style number, but it doesn't say style before it so sometimes you just kind of have to look on the care tag that's always a good place to start is to just look at the care tag and see if there's any numbers that are kind of lengthy like that um, that could possibly be the style number just type in the brand you know a new day sweater and then that number and see if it pops up I do want to give an example of shoes as well because a lot of shoes will have writing on the inside of them kind of hard to angle it but right there there's some writing on the inside of the shoe and it tells me um, it has like a name in bold letters and it says Devon so I typed that in the Carl Lagerfeld Paris Devon um, pointed toe flat that's what I typed in and the stock photo for it popped up immediately so with shoes if there is a name inside of them um, like Devon is in capital letters right under the size type that in and see you know see what pops up just do a little investigation on the care tags and like um, the writing inside of shoes um, to see if you can find it that way now with jeans I have an example for jeans as well right here with a lot of jeans they will actually have the style name on them and you can just type in the name instead of a number and it'll pop right up on Google Images. This is a pair of current Elliott jeans. I'm trying to find, yeah, there we go. Um, this is a pair of current Elliott jeans and let's see, I may have to take a picture of this and just pop it up on the screen. Anyways, right here it has the style number and then right underneath it has the style name. These are the stiletto jean and that's the style like the skinny jean <laughs> scooby just yawned so loud um anyways that's the style of jean and then it is rig the rig destroy with released hem so rig is the color in this case and destroy obviously it's distressed and it's got the released hem so i would just type i typed that into google i just typed in current elliot the stiletto rig destroy with released hem and the stock photo popped up so that was super easy so like i said just do a little investigating see what you can find and type it into google now let's get on to the second way that you can find stock photos All right, so the second way to find stock photos is just to simply know your fashion terms 
And how you can do this, it's pretty simple. Just do a little research. You can go on to Pinterest. That's the main source that I would say is a good like place to look um, to learn fashion terms. And also just like, you know, being on Instagram and following people who have been in the business for a little while um, and learning from them, learning from each other, that's always a good way as well. Um, but really knowing your fashion term is going to help you narrow down your search when you're looking for stock photos, especially if it's a garment that, let's say, the care tag is cut out or that specific company just doesn't provide style numbers. Um, it's a lot easier for you in the long run to just know the style. A lot of times I don't even, anymore, I don't even bother with the style number. I just type in, you know, a bunch of keywords, um, like fashion terms, and it pops up. So an example of that would be these little slip-on espadrilles. So all I did was type in Aeropostale embroidered slip-on espadrilles. Now, this right here, this little woven effect, and how like the style of these shoes this part is an espadrille so by knowing that that's what that's called it really helped me i mean this it popped up instantly i didn't have to do an extensive amount of searching for these so like i said just by knowing those terms knowing embroidery i know embroidery is like an obvious one um, and like pinstripes is probably an obvious one or three quarter sleeves or skinny jeans or something like that but more specific terms like espadrille like some people may not know that these are called espadrilles but they are and that really helps to find stock photos knowing um necklines is a good thing to do and like i said you can go on pinterest and you can type in um different necklines and it'll pop up with like a little cheat sheet of like all the different necklines and like what their names are and then of course pinterest will suggest to you other things like different types of skirts different types of dresses um like is it a sheath dress is it a baby doll dress is it a fit and flare um different types of jeans is it a boot cut is it a skinny is it a flare is it a wide leg knowing if the jean is a high rise a jean is considered high rise if the rise measurement is 10 inches or more it is then considered a high waist or high rise jean so just knowing certain things like that will really help but let's say with these Karl Lagerfeld flats they're right in front of me so let's just use them again even if i didn't know like say this was worn off and i didn't have this style name i could type in um, Karl Lagerfeld Paris you always want to type in the brand obviously um, pointed toe mule flats because these are like kind of a mule style um, flats and then I could even go as far as go um, gold suede or um, pearl embellished just use your your keywords use a lot of keywords you can never have too many it'll really help to find the stock photo that you're looking for and it's usually pretty simple if there is one for it it'll usually pop up pretty quickly I'm gonna give one more little example of that with a piece of clothing this is a forever 21 sweater um, and forever 21 is one of those companies that does not provide style numbers or a style name so what I did is I just typed in Forever 21, and this is a plus size um, item. So I typed in Forever 21 plus size uh, black sweatshirt with white collar, and then I just added no thanks, and it popped right up. So using all those keywords, it's a black sweatshirt, it's got a little white collar, I typed in the brand, and also I typed in the graphic, no thanks, um, because... When a brand hat puts something online, just like we do on Poshmark, they use a lot of keywords to describe an item. So they're going to put no thanks in their description or their title. So that will help me to find this just like it would on Poshmark. So just think about it like that, you know, how you would describe an item to put it on Poshmark so that other people can find it. Describe it that way in Google so that you can find it from the company that it came from if that makes sense. So it's really just that simple. Um, it just takes a few minutes. And you know what, sometimes some companies are easier to find than others. And sometimes what will happen is, is I'll find 
a photo based on someone's listing. So like say someone has the same top listed on Poshmark or on eBay, by typing in those keywords, it'll pop up with their listing and they may have found the stock photo. That happens to me a lot. So then I go and I click on their listing and if they found the stock photo, then they usually have the actual name of the item in their title so then I just take I'm like okay that's what that tank top's called you know that tank top's called the paisley tank by lily pulitzer and so I'll go back to my google search type in the lily pulitzer paisley tank that's not even a thing I just like completely made that up um <laughs> but I'll go and type that in and usually the stock photo will just pop right up so like I said, get a little creative, do a little digging. Sometimes you just can't find a stock photo. Sometimes it may be like just the company doesn't keep their stock photos up. Like once an item has sold out, the, the stock photo is just like nowhere to be found. Um, some com I don't know. It's just some companies it's harder to find stock photos and an item may be too old. Like it's been five years, so there is no stock photo that exists for it. Um, so don't beat yourself up too much if you can't find a stock photo, but usually for like newer pieces, it's pretty easy to find stock photos for those. It's pretty easy to find stock photos for popular brands. Now, when it comes to brands like boutique brands, that's where it starts to get a little tricky. Usually you're not going to find a stock photo for a boutique brand now, like Forever 21 or... Karen Elliott or free people, that's pretty easy to find, but um, I wouldn't worry yourself too much over finding a stock photo for, you know, just a regular, like a no-name boutique brand because nine times out of ten, it's not going to happen. And you just wasting your time. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful. I know it was kind of short, sweet, and to the point, but a lot of you guys have asked me how to find stock photos, and really, I think it's just like... I know a lot of people say, oh, just look at, you know, for the style number, but sometimes it's not that simple. Sometimes you have to get creative and get descriptive. So really do your homework, um, get up to date on those fashion terms. I know not everyone's like super into fashion like I am. I'm just like a crazy person and I know all these terms for absolutely no reason. I just sit on Pinterest and literally just look at necklines all, all night. That's all I do. That's my life. <laughs> but I know not everyone's like that. So definitely go on Pinterest. Um, I'll leave some links to um, some Pinterest posts about fashion terms to help you guys out with that. All right. And the inspirational quote of the day is, I know I've, I've been bad about this. The past couple videos, I didn't put an inspirational quote in and I didn't even realize it until it was already uploaded to YouTube. I'm the worst but we knew this. All right, the inspirational quote of the day comes from Anna, and she her closet name is Aloha Brunch, so everybody go check her out and give her some love. But her quote is, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. And that is so good, I love that so, so, so much. So on that note, treat people with kindness today. Spread, spread kindness out to everyone. Kindness goes a very long way. And spread that kindness and head over to Aloha Brunch over on Poshmark and show her some super, super love for that awesome quote. Alrighty, so that is it for today's video. If you liked it, please be sure and give it a thumbs up on your way out. Also, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join our little family here. We would love to have you. I actually hit 5,000 subscribers a couple days ago and I am so overwhelmed and so happy. Thank you so, so, so much. It feels like yesterday that we hit 1,000 and now we're at 5,000. So our little community here is growing and I couldn't be happier. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and join us. We have a lot of fun on this channel. I make new videos every Tuesday and Friday and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Bye!